Good morning. Here we are huddled together, so to speak, at home as the disciples are huddled together in hiding a fear of their life. We are not quite such a dire situation, but perhaps we can understand their condition with them. This is known as Holy Saturday in the church. And the Gospels are silent about this day. We found Joseph of Arimathea and the women yesterday evening as they carried Jesus to the grave. And then the Gospel records stop. There is nothing until Easter Sunday morning when the women arrive at the tomb. And so with them we can spend today gathered together in our homes. We can consider the events of the past week. But first I'd like to make a comment on the Apostles' Creed, which says, Jesus was crucified, dead, and buried, and on the third day, or on Holy Saturday, descended into hell. And where does this come from? Well, it comes from the book of 1 Peter. 1 Peter tells us in chapter 3, at verse 18... For Christ also suffered once for sins, the righteous for the unrighteous, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but made alive in the Spirit, in which he went and proclaimed to the spirits in prison, because they formerly did not obey, when God's patience waited in the days of Noah, while the ark was being prepared. This gives us some indication of the early church's thought along these lines. As we look back over the past week, there was the glorious day of the entry into Jerusalem. There was Jesus' cleansing of the temple. There was his anointing by an unknown woman, and then Gethsemane, and then crucifixion. And then we ran like scared rabbits. And here we are, hiding. So here's a way to think about this. And as usual, I draw from Karl Barth. Karl Barth makes a very strong statement that God is not sentimental. God does not show his love through feelings or declarations, but God shows his love through specific, concrete acts in history. He freed Israel from Egypt. He gave Israel the law with thunderings and lightnings. He sent Israel back from their time of trial in Babylon. God's relationship with Israel was rocky. Rocky on Israel's side, God never wavered, not once. God was faithful to his promises. God acted again and again and again on behalf of Israel. So pondering all this, we can see the crucifixion as one more specific act of God in history that shows God's love for all people. Let us pray. Holy God, be with us on this day as we wait to see 
what you will have done through the events of the past week. We wonder where we are in relationship to you. We question the reality we see around us. And yet we can look back and we can see that you were always faithful and will always be with us now and always through Christ our Lord who lived and died and was buried and rose again for us. We know this. Let us wait. Bless us and guide us and strengthen us in this time of our trial. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.